Welcome everyone. So today we are going to understand how to solve these kind of questions. Now the question over here is, see, we have 16 minus 16 divided by 4 minus 6. Now a lot of people make the mistake of, you know, going left to right. Okay, they start with whatever operation they come across first. Now please understand there is something called as mod mass. Okay, or PEMDAS, whatever works for you all. Okay, it can be mod mass or PEMDAS. Okay, whatever works for you all. You have to remember that in precision, okay, in a mathematical operation, whenever you come across a bracket, the bracket has to be taken as the first priority. The order or the index is the second priority. Okay, now division and multiplication is the third priority. Similarly, addition and subtraction is the fourth priority. Okay, so now in this case, since we have just subtraction in this at the two extremes, but in middle you have a division. So like I said, division and multiplication will come, will have to be done before addition and subtraction. So for that, we will write 16 minus as it is, or rather we will not write minus as it is. I'll just explain this one more time. So we have minus 16 divide by 4 okay so that can be written as what minus 16 this division sign can be changed to multiplication sign and when you do that the next number the next number which is followed by the division sign has to be written in its reciprocal format so now what happens is 4 ones are and 4s are so final answer is what minus 4 understood so here you will write 16 minus 4 and then you will continue to write minus 6 as it is Okay, I hope this is very, very clear to everyone. Now, like I said, since there is both the sides, there is just subtraction, we'll go, we'll do 16 minus 4 first. We'll get what? 12 minus 6. So, final answer is 6. Now, the trouble is that many of the people did not understand what is the final answer. They thought the answer is none. But actually, the answer is not none. See, a lot of people thought either the answer was none or they thought the answer was 0. But actually the other answer is not that. Okay, the answer is what I'll tell you. It is 3 factorial. Now why 3 factorial? Because if you expand 3 factorial, that is nothing but what? 3 into 2 into 1. Right? Factorial is nothing but what? Just multiplying the next consecutive numbers up to in the reverse order. Okay, and up till you get 1. So here you will say that answer is nothing but 6. Okay. So here your answer is 3 factorial. There are times when in test they do give some kind of options in such a way. And especially the test which has none option, people tend to mark none. You know, there are people who would have gotten 6 but they did not realize that 3 factorial is 6. Okay, so please pay attention to your options as well. Okay, so that's it for today. I will see you in the next video.